Good afternoon. A push by Bernalillo County to weed out abusive and dangerous adults from youth sports. A county commissioner wants all coaches and volunteers in youth sports to undergo training and background checks or their teams can forget about using county facilities. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is live at the West Side Community Center. Jeannie? Kim, a lot of times parents are trusting coaches they barely even know to take care of their kids, but this could help parents give some peace of mind. One Albuquerque coach arrested for getting drunk and pulling out a gun on a road trip with his youth football team, another for having sex with a volleyball player, and a little league president with a violent criminal history, just a sampling from the past few years. Now, a plan sponsored by Commissioner Maggie Hart Stebbins aims to prevent those types of scandals. We as a commission want to make sure that um, our children are safe as possible, that when a parent signs um, a child up for an activity, the parents can feel comfortable that they're not putting their child at risk in some way. Starting next year, the Bernalillo County Youth Sports Commission would have a mechanism for reporting inappropriate volunteer or coach behavior and require criminal background checks for all adults involved in youth sports. Leagues would also have to train coaches and officials on anti-bullying, about being abusive towards players, and make sure they know how to do CPR and recognize concussions. All that to get a certificate from the county. It's a patch, it's a label, it's an endorsement that they can present to parents saying, we've met these high standards, um, so you can feel comfortable that um, your child will be safe in our care. Leagues without certificates might not be able to use county facilities. So far, the idea is getting a good response. Yeah, because it's too dangerous nowadays, you know, you got to find out who's around there, around them. Back in the old days when I used to do it, it was, I didn't think it was necessary, but I think now, yes. And Maggie Hart Stebbins tells me tonight's county commission meeting will give the Youth Sports Commission the authority to move forward with the plan. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jeannie. Now, the county could also reach out to the city to see if it wants to adopt the same plan.